school. To do a forward roll, have no fear of turning upside down. These little preschoolers get afraid when they turn upside down. They can't, you can't be forcing them to do a forward roll if they don't want to turn upside down. So how to do that is, where's a barrel? Come over here. Um, well, I can just use this too. If you've got a, a, a child that's afraid, this octagon, this small little octagon, thanks you guys, that was perfect. They put their tummy on it and you roll them back and forth just so they get the feeling and then the hands can go down. And if you'd like, the best thing is even put this on an incline so that they even can make it easier. So they, if they're really afraid, they can get up here, mommy can roll them, hands down, and it's an easy roll. So an octagon or a barrel would be perfect for that. Okay, um, let's see, be able to get chin and tuck the chin into the chest. Look at the tummy. If they don't understand, look at the tummy, they're not going to be able to do it. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Come here, Audrey. Come right here, rock and roll. I love this, this came from Barb Davis. Have you ever heard of the three bears? Mama bear, papa bear, and baby bear? I want you to do a little baby rock and roll. Can you do a little baby rock and roll like in the three bears? Just do a baby rock and roll. Okay, now do a mama rocking, like in the mama rocking chair. Because then, go ahead, roll back. That's the mama. Now give me a big, big daddy one. All right. Now see if you can come up. Can you come all the way up and stand or get into a squat? Roll back. Daddy's rocking chair. Come out. Come to your feet. Yes. And what is that? That's the end of the forward roll. So if they can do a rocking, uh, rocking horse or a rocking chair, rock, uh, rock and roll, whatever it is, and get up to their feet, they're going to be able to do a forward roll. Okay. Um, if the child's very afraid, bring a pillow. Get a pillow in the gym to put their head down. So that will be um, easy for them to do. All right, teaching steps. We've already gone through. All right, Audrey, come up here. And uh, teach an incline first. Obviously, it's the easiest. Here, put your, um, Nicole, you want to show spotting on this? Forward roll, forward roll down. So tuck the head. So hand underneath, go tuck the head and lift the hips up. If Nicole lifts the hips up, the child cannot hurt their neck. So one hand, do it again. Nicole's left hand is going to be tucking the head under, right hand kind of lifting the hips. Go ahead, tuck the head under, tuck the head. There, that's it. Okay, next, tell the child to look at their tummy, put a bean bag. Okay, so put a bean bag under your chin. Go ahead. This is one that, see if you can do it, not drop it. Yay! If you've got a child that keeps a stiff neck, my son was teaching when he was about 16 years old, and they were doing four rolls down the tumble track. And he kept saying, bend your neck, honey, you have a stiff neck, bend your neck, honey. All he would have had to do was put a bean bag under their chin and say, look at their tummy. Okay, bend their neck, children don't understand. So the next thing I wanted to show you was um, a bean bag, foam piece between the knees. All right, next, Audrey, if you were doing a forward roll, you want a bean bag or something between the knees. You can put a beanie baby, anything, between the knees. Now do a forward roll and keep those knees together and hands forward. Right. Rhonda, can you be the mom in front reaching for the child? Okay, Audrey, do it again. Keep the bean bag. And let me see if you can do two things. You got two bean bags up there? One between your knees and one under your chin. How about your feet now? Let's make it even harder. Now, at the end, pretend like that's your mommy. Say, hi, mom. And you're going to reach towards mom, reach towards mom, reach towards mom. That's it. So in a parent talk class, have cross mat tumbling and have them reaching towards them like that. Give them all a bean bag. I showed you beach towel.